Hey folks, Crazy Marty, your camp host. Sometimes called a Walmart greeter of the forest. Except we're more lazy. We don't get off our ass. Today I'm going to show you how you can destroy a brand new Starlink internet satellite system. You just got the thing and you got nothing better to do than to ruin it. So the very first thing you want to do is grab the cable and cut it off. Things are flying and landing on me. Cut that sucker off and that'll fix all your internet problems. You're back to having none at all. Why would I cut the cable off? Well, that's pretty simple. I'm going to stick this here plug thing on it. I'm going to make it so we can plug it in and out the outside of the trailer without having to open and close it. Be able to open and close the door and plug it in that way because the plugs that they use on Starlink, they're proprietary and they're pretty crappy. So anyways, we'll show you how this is done and show you how it's all hooked up in the end. Now that you've ruined your Starlink, the very first thing you want to do is put on the plug parts. So there's a cap and then the barrel and then this little pusher thing here. And then we're going to take, we're going to whip out our razor blade and we're going to strip this back. Now that you've got it stripped, we can pull this off and see what we got inside the Starlink cable. This is a shielded cable. So we have a foil shield. Foil shield comes off. Here's the important one. This is called a drain wire. This one's going to be used a little bit later on. It's got some more insulation, plastic coating stuff going on in here. Let's see if we can get this thing to come apart. There we go. Here's your plastic insulation. And then we've got the standard Cat 6 wiring. Inside the Cat 6 wiring, we have orange, white, and orange. And green, white, green, and blue, white, blue. So we're going to take and we're going to un, un, undo these here. And then we're going to bend them one way and then the other. Get them so they're nice and straight. And get them all splayed out. Now that we've got our wires straight out, splayed out, we can put on our connector. I have a handy dandy little note thing that I use. Looks like that. Which tells me the color code, which is orange, white, orange, green, white, green, I mean, sorry, green, white, blue, blue, white, green, brown, white, brown. All right, so let's go ahead and these are what they call a pull through connector, which makes it a lot easier to deal with. Make sure you strip back plenty of wire so it makes it easy on yourself. Shut up, dog. Okay, now that we've got our wires and stuff pulled through, I can show you here we've got. Orange, white, orange, green, white, blue, blue, white, green, brown, white, brown. Now what we do is we take the, the drain line and we circle it around the last three, the green, brown, white, and the brown. Circle it around that once and then we're going to pull it back that direction down the back of the, down the back of the thing. And we're going to pull all this stuff through the, up through here like that. But, so when we crimp it, that'll drain line will come out on the underside right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and trim these off, pull it forward just a touch, and crimp it down. After flush cutting the wires off, I want to pull them back just to where they're flush on the back side of the plug because sometimes I've found that if they protrude out they will make it hard to hard to put the plug together when you go to stick it in the into the plug so now we crimp it double check make sure everything's good and there's that now I just got to take and Make sure my bleed wires on here. And there's that nicely crimped on there. There's our bleed wire. Then we're going to pull trim that off and there it is one network plug 
Alrighty, now that I got it all together, we could go ahead and try to plug this thing into the into the trailer and turn it on, see if it works. This is where I've got it hidden down here. Let's push the little thing up. Come on, push that up and that slides out. Here's my little plug thing. And it's only supposed to go in one way. There it goes. That's in. Yeah, it's supposed to be IP65 rated, but that's really pretty loose. This is the proprietary Starlink plug. It's almost like a USB, except it's not a USB. It's more like a uh, video plug, I guess. I don't know. It's proprietary. It's a pain. And so there you go, folks. That's how you destroy your Starlink and then put it back together so it's better off. I'm going to take the plugs that are on the router, which the router is doesn't you don't get very di good distance with a router. So I'll take and put some tape over the bottom of the plugs and uh, make sure that they don't fall out because those things have a tendency to fall out apparently. In the meantime, I'm Crazy Marty hanging out here at Camp Fruit Loop with general nutburger down the road here oh that's right little update on general nutburger he told me that there is a girl on the way for him so if this girl comes by looking for him i'm to direct her over to the camp she should be about 27 or so he's like 60 something and uh i don't know i guess she's just gonna walk up here or something maybe she's gonna be wearing all white because god sent her but in the meantime you know i, I guess i could just tie her to a tree until he gets back so Anyways, I'm Crazy Marty, and I'll talk to you folks a little bit later. Bye-bye.